Hello, everyone. Welcome to our session. We appreciate your attendance and hope that you'll find this information insightful and useful. My name is Keith May. I'm the Director of Development for Grape City. Grape City is a software development company committed to the creation and ongoing development of deep functionality tools for application developers worldwide. My career includes work at Kodak performing data analysis and subject definition for the corporate-wide data warehousing project. Additionally, I've worked to create customer relationship management systems, knowledge management, and enterprise resource planning solutions. And I'm Robbie Powell, the product manager responsible for the Grape City team of product managers. I have worked at IBM and Farpoint, where I've been lead developer responsible for the creation of several very successful products in the software tools space. We will begin by discussion, discussing the evolution of application systems as they, as they have matured over time. This will provide us with a backdrop for our topic today, decision support systems and components typically found in these systems, and how they are related to business intelligence and business analytics systems. The format will be a slide-assisted presentation. Throughout our session, we'll present examples of decision support systems and how they add extreme value to assisting decision makers using in, use information to drive better outcomes. We'll be using a system that we created with our tools to facilitate this discussion. At the end of our presentation, we'll ask folks to join us in the Grape City booth where our product experts will be available for question and answer. In the 80s, most organizations were focused on building and maintaining systems that were critical to the daily operations of the company. Termed back office systems, they typically included software that supported financial, inventory, operations, and order processing activities. In the beginning of the early 90s, progressive companies started to focus on the creation or adoption of front office systems. For example, systems that helped sales, the sales team work more effectively with customers and prospects such as Salesforce automation systems, which was later uh, coined customer relationship management systems, and customer service systems used by the help desk or call centers. These solutions were often developed by outside vendors or consultants. In the mid-90s, we saw the emergence of companies that tied the front office and the back office systems together. They tied them together with tools, and they were known as enterprise resource planning, companies like SAP, Oracle, and other large players emerged as best of breed in this space. Finally, in the last decade, a new focus emerged. The fast pace of business and competitive challenges has dictated that companies perform better, quicker, and smarter. By creating applications that utilize operational, industrial, and other data to help to spot trends and opportunities, intelligent businesses can change their operations to, and performance to compete better. First known as executive information systems, these solutions were often expensive, difficult to implement. However, over the years, vendors have offered tools and solutions that have expanded the focus of these systems from the executive to all decision makers within the business. Today, it is possible to integrate pieces of decision support into your application quickly, effectively, and at a lower cost. There are many terms currently being used to describe solutions that help provide insight for di better decision making. Each term has a slightly different area of focus. For this presentation, we'll refer to any application or portion of an application that transforms data into information, thus providing more insight to allow users to take action. We'll just call these systems decision support. In order to create useful information out of data, that data has to be transformed. There are many techniques and technologies used to extract and transform data into meaningful elements that are recognizable to the business user. Data from multiple operational systems must be joined, summarized, and denormalized. Outside data from suppliers, partners, or industry stores must also be considered. Though this is outside the scope of this session, I should mention that this activity is of incredible importance and it should not be underestimated. After the data is cleansed, mapped, summarized and joined, it is often stored in a separate data storage area like a data mart, OLAP, or data warehouse, stored separately from the original transaction system. This redundant storage is necessary to ensure that the operational systems and data are not impacted by the decision support systems that's, that are accessing them. Finally, these decision support systems provide a multitude of information delivery models or front ends. 
key performance indicators, balanced scorecards, dashboards, interactive reporting, models often in the form of spreadsheets, various visualization alternatives with interactive graphs and charts, and analysis capabilities with pivot table and drill down. For this presentation, we will limit our discussion to the five I have highlighted in this slide. Dashboards, reporting, analysis, visualization, and models. Let me welcome Robbie Powell, who will walk us through an example of a decision support system built with several of our Grape City Power tools. Thanks, Keith. To begin discussing, uh, to begin the discussion of our decision support system, I will start with a dashboard. Dashboards allow decision makers to monitor the contribution of various departments or drivers in their organization to gauge exactly how well an organization is performing. Dash dashboards allow you to capture and re report specific data points from each department within the organization, thus providing a snapshot of performance. Often, organizations will use Excel to create dashboards. However, our dashboard is created, created using Grape City Spread, which is an embeddable spreadsheet platform control for use in .NET applications. In creation of this dashboard, we use many of the dashboard design principles established by Stephen Few, who is a recognized world leader in the field of data visualization. The spread does support complete highly graphical presentations, such as 3D, route, 3D rotating charts. You will notice that this dashboard is not flashy or overly colorful. Dashboards should focus on informing and presenting a broad range of information to the viewer. Diverting the viewer's focus with unnecessary styling and formatting devalues the dashboard. In our dashboard, we use color in, in meaningful ways, such as to point out areas of concern and alert conditions. And we were careful to not dilute or enhance the impact of the data through overformatting. Through the dashboard, Users can see high-level aggregation information and then drill down into the underlying data. The level of detail presented through a dashboard is often buried deeply within the corporate enterprise in the masses of corporate data. This often makes the data unavailable to the decision makers. 